Hey, what's up guys? Working the game aim plus or my aiming is gaming. I'm your host, the boy G, and oh we gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. Alright, in this video, we are gonna talk about Marvel vs. Capcom 4 for the Nintendo Switch 2. Whoo! Okay, listen. First off, we're gonna get right to it. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. The most recent Marvel vs. Capcom game that came out besides the collection, Infinite, was not it. That wasn't it. I'm sorry, okay? Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was just, eh, okay? One, a lot of people had a, a lot of complaints about the way it looked, the graphics, and just, I don't know. I mean, to me, the game looked fine. You know what I mean, we, we've had worse graphics before, but, you know, a lot of people are complaining about that it's ugly and they don't like how the characters look, and apparently, you know, Captain America ain't got no shoulders or no neck or something. I don't know. Okay, but people don't like it. So, Infinite was not it. I love the Marvel vs. Capcom games. I completely skipped Infinite, alright? I did not buy it. I did not go and purchase it. I did not do anything with that. I completely skipped it. The fact that you even... It, it's not even the, the 3 vs. 3 anymore. They, they took out the whole 3v3. Three, three three. That's out. Okay. I don't know why you even did that because that was like an amazing staple in the game, especially in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like, why would you take that out? That's what made that... It was awesome. Okay, cool, granted, yeah, they made two on two, and then they replaced the third character with, you can pick one of the Infinity Stones, that's the Soul Stone, the whatever stone, and that stone, and the Mind Stone, Time Stone, whatever, look, I don't care, and it was cool, you know, with whatever stone you picked, it, it, it enhanced the abilities of the two characters that you did pick, and whatever, and it was cool, and the fact that you guys, you literally, you took out Magneto Storm and Wolverine, are you crazy? That right, you guys should have known from right there that the game was going to fail. You took out Wolverine, Storm, and Magneto. Wow, dumb choice. So, we're going to fix all of that in Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Alright, now, Marvel vs. Capcom 4, they need to change, not even change anything, just go back to the original formula. Alright, 3 vs. 3, alright, and please to God, bring back Wolverine, Magneto, and Storm. God, you guys are idiots. You took out Wolverine? Who does that? Like, who does? That's like getting Super Smash Bros. and taking out Mario. What? Are you serious? That's like Street Fighter taking out Ryu. Did, are you, you... Mortal Kombat taking out Scorpion. Do you get... You get... You, you see where I'm going here. You guys made no sense. Who takes out Wolverine? Idiots. God, you deserve to fail for that. Anyway, we're not going to go back to that. All right? They, they better completely fix Marvel vs. Capcom 4 and make it how it used to be. And, you know, if you want to add the Infinity Stone things, cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, no, you do not take out the three on three. You don't do that. And you don't three, take out three of the best characters. Idiots. I'm sorry, that, that, that upset me, all right, because, yeah, no. All right, the fact that the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, the fighting collection, has came out for all consoles, you know, especially Nintendo Switch, thankfully, that gives hope. Okay, that gives hope that the fact that the whole Marvel vs. Capcom thing has not died. They did not forget about it. It is not deceased. Okay, it is still going. This is like a test. Okay, they're bringing out the Marvel vs. Capcoms, the collection, so everybody can play them, try them out. People can, you know, then the company can see how it goes, how people, you know, gravitate to this and how they react to it. And then guess what? Everybody reacted perfectly, amazingly excited and happy that you guys made this collection. Because we love Marvel vs. Capcom with Wolverine in it and Storm and Magneto. Because you guys, you guys make magic when you put these two universes together. I love it. I played Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 so much. Like, it was, it was such a great game. I really, I practiced so hard in that game to learn how to play with three characters. Fight, 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 you know, uh, switch out from each character in mid-air and throw another character out and doom, doom. And th Bruh. It takes a lot of training and time to master that game. And I feel like I mastered it to, to a certain point. I wasn't the best in the world, but I felt really good by the way I fought. You know, I took a lot of time to practice in that game and get good. So I was proud of myself. I clapped for me. <laughs> so yeah, man, you, you got to bring the, the original format back to the whole Marvel vs. Capcom. All right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why would you break something that's already fixed and it's perfectly fine? Like, who does that? No, don't break it. Leave it alone, all right? Bring everybody, bring everybody back, and then bring back some old characters and some new characters, or characters that you've taken out, you know? Bring back uh, Juggernaut, bring back, well, I like Black Panther too, like, so bring, 
bring Black Panther, bring back Akuma, uh, bro, there's so many people they can bring back, and new people they can add into the game, you know, I, you know, I, I want, I want Deadpool to stay, I want Spider-Man, Venom, bring in, uh, Green Goblin, that would be dope, like, I would love to see Green Goblin in Marvel's Capcom, like, he would just, that would be dope, you know, him, maybe him flying on his little, you know, his little hover thingy, and, you know, you know, the glider thing, it, that would be super dope, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't see why not. You know, bring in Gam, uh, bring in Gambit. You know, a game has been making a, a nice resurgence since the whole Deadpool movie uh, and, and Wolverine. So you know, throw Gambit in here. Throw it, throw in a uh, Jubilee. Jubilee will be dope. I, I like Jubilee. You know, throw in, throw in some new X Men that nobody has ever played with. Throw in some, you know, maybe maybe some Fantastic Four people. You know, uh, just throw in everybody. All right, bring in some more Street Fighter characters. Uh, cause there's a whole bunch of Street Fighter characters that you can use that probably have never even been used in a Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, off the top of the dome, I can't really, it's, it's hard to think, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like Jury, Jury from Street Fighter, she's super dope, I like her. Um, let me see, uh, Leon, Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Alright, a lot of people don't like, uh, Chris Redfield for some reason. I like Chris Redfield, you know what I'm saying? I, I think, cause, and the only reason why I like Chris Redfield from Resident Evil is because what really got me into Resident Evil you know, on a high level was Resident Evil 5. Whether people like that game or not, I love that game. I beat that game multiple, multiple times. I platinumed them on my on my PlayStation, so that got me super hyped. You know, to platinum a Resident Evil game. So I got every single trophy. But I like Chris Redfield. But you know, not a lot of people do. And I, but I do understand that Leon Kennedy. He is a an amazing character. He's he's super popular in the whole Resident Evil thing, and just everybody. You know, everybody loves Resident Evil 4. You can never go wrong with Resident Evil 4. But, yeah, um, bring Leon Kennedy in here. You know, keep Jill Valentine. I like Wesker, so you, you can keep Wesker if you want. I like him. I don't know what anybody else does. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, Dante from Devil May Cry. Bring Virgil. I like Virgil. Virgil was cool. Uh, I don't know. I guess people didn't like Virgil for some reason, or maybe they did, or maybe he was too overpowered. I like Virgil. You know, bring back all bring back to all these characters. Bring back new characters. The Sentinel, the, the Sentinel from X-Men. People like the Sentinel. They remember him from back then. And you know, destroy the X-Men. Like he's cool. I like him. You know what I'm saying? Throw him in there. Bring back everybody. Of course, Captain America, Hulk, uh, uh, Thor, and you know, uh, Iron Man. You know, the 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 big four of the Avengers. You gotta throw them in there, you know. Um, but I really want I want Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is my favorite, favorite Avenger, favorite Marvel character. I love Scarlet Witch. She is overpowered. She is the best. Nobody can beat her. I don't care what you say. Ain't nobody beating Scarlet Witch. So she can take on the entire Capcom and she won't smoke them all. All right. Mega Man and Zero, you're both going to catch the smoke. All right. I don't care. I say what I say. You know I mean, if you want to throw another, uh, another Mega Man uh, rep in there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe uh, Base or somebody i don't know i don't really know a lot of the uh, mega man characters honestly you know you can even bring in one of the bad guys from in there or dr w uh, wily woldy wally whatever his bad guy throw him in the game you know there's a lot of people they could throw up in here you know the, the marvel vs capcom 4 could be absolutely phenomenal um and uh, it was real cool what they did with the um what they did do in marvel vs capcom uh i can't even say the name anymore marvel vs capcom infinite is they put um rocket raccoon and group together like they made them like you know like ice climbers and smash bros they made them into one character both of them together um and a lot of people like that i guess you know so if you want to do that again i i like i said i didn't even play infinite you know what I'm saying? but it looked cool with them two together I, i'm used to rocket raccoon being alone from marvel vs capcom 3 you know that that's how i played them um i like the phoenix if they could bring back the phoenix too that would be super dope uh you know throw, throw the phoenix up in there from from x-men but yeah, there's so much they can do. Um, there's so many characters that have they haven't even uh, they haven't even scratched the surface. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many characters that Capcom can still bring in, and there's an entirely an enormous amount of characters that Marvel can still throw in there. You know, so this just the whole thing would just be great. Marvel's Capcom 4 has to happen. It has to fix the mistakes that they made in Infinite. And then you know, like I said, there are some things in Infinite that were cool. So if you know, you want to bring some of those elements in, then that's cool. You know, you want to fuse them in some type of way. That's awesome. You know, but you don't take away what made Marvel vs. Capcom Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, don't take that stuff away. The three-on-threes, the, the the characters, that the, the main prime characters that you took out, you don't take them out. You keep them in, all right? You, you, you don't do that, you know? And 
you know, make, make a make a better storyline. Um, I guess some people didn't really like the storyline of Infinite as well. Um, I'm watching it. Look, it looked, looked kind of dope to me. You know what I'm saying I think it looked cool. Uh, the graphics look fine to me. You know, my eyes aren't the best, but you, you guys can't complain about everything. The graphics ain't gonna look like the, the best graphics in the entire universe every single time. You guys gotta, you guys gotta. You know what I mean? Humble yourselves a little bit. You know, cut cut some games some slack. These games take a lot of work, a lot of years, and just a lot of time. So, I mean, that, that the graphics didn't really bother me. Um, it was cool. I, I seen a one part in there where uh, Mega Man, Mega Man X, he was holding Captain America's shield, and he used it. He threw Captain America's shield. That was dope in Infinite. I, I thought that was kind of dope. Like, you, like it was a Capcom guy holding Captain America's shield from Marvel. That was that was hilarious. It was awesome. And, oh, wow. I, I just, I loved it. But, yeah. You got to bring these people back. You, you, you got to do your thing. All right, make the game how it used to be but better you know go back to the roots all right take it back to the beginning do 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 your due diligence and don't just be making weird things or trying weird new things that don't need to be tried you know don't don't, don't take away stuff if you're gonna if you're gonna try new things don't take away things you know add new things do that all right but don't take away stuff it just makes no sense you know but like i said i mean i'm a i love marvel and i love capcom so I'm ready, you know. The collection was great. I love that they brought up the collection. You know, they had the, the Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter, uh, X Men versus Street Fighter, or whatever. It had uh, the first Marvel's Capcom versus Capcom 2. Um, it, it had it all. All right. It even had the Punisher beat em ups game from back in the day. They threw that in there. So, yeah. What's up? Y'all know what you're doing. You know what you gotta do. So get to work. Marvel versus Capcom 4 on a Nintendo Switch 2. All right. Nintendo Switch 2, it's going to pop, it's going to blow the world when it comes out. The graphics are going to be great, so there ain't going to be no excuse why you can't throw the, the, the new Marvel's Capcom on there. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. You feel me? But yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's pretty much all I got, guys. You know, you guys let me know what you think of a Marvel's Capcom 4. Uh, do you want a new one? Are you ready for a new one? Do you want, did you like Infinite? Do you want it to be like that again? Hope to God not. Let me know. Put in the comments. Talk to your boy. And let's chitty chat. But yeah. There you go, guys. Game Aim Plus. Please subscribe. Click that little bell button. That way, every time I upload a new video, it'll pop up on your phone. Like, you feel me, dog? You feel me. But yeah, y'all have a great morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll catch you in the next one. Boo, y'all. Woo.